Stephen, congratulations, manager of the month. Um, how good a reward is that for, for the team's efforts? Thank you. Um, yeah, I think it's a collective uh, effort. You know, we we as a staff can't receive these awards unless the players are doing the the job on the pitch, and the players have been fantastic uh, for the majority of this season. So, I suppose we've got a big thank you towards the players as well. Alfredo Morelos gets Player of the Month. How pleased are you for him? Yeah, I think he deserves it. Um, I'm always pleased to see me me players getting individual um, accolades. Of course, it's always nice for them from a personal point of view, but. The important thing for us all is that we keep pushing hard and try and uh, achieve things collectively because that's our, our, the main part of our job. But yeah, you know, huge congratulations to Alfredo. I think he's been in fine form. He's enjoying his football. Um, he's looking really deadly in the penalty area. Um, so is Jermaine, which is a fantastic position for me to be in as manager. Did the international break come at the right time to give some a rest or did it come at the wrong time given the momentum you were on? Uh, it, I think I think you can always look at it both sides. I think um, for us to get Ryan Ryan Kemp back in in the group, um, uh, try and get Jack as close as we can, um, John Flanagan back in the group. Uh, I think it's been a real positive from that point of view. Um, but when you're in a good moment, you're in good form. You want to just keep trying to make that snowball. So I suppose from that point of view, the break come at a bad time. Uh, so it's important that we try and. Um, carry on where we left off really uh, and can I try and continue to keep this consistency going because we're, we're certainly in good form. Those guys you mentioned, are they available for Sunday? Jack's not, um, but he's very close, um, but he won't be uh, available at the weekend. Um, John and Ryan are available for selection, but um, they've probably only trained four or five sessions, so um, we'll have to make a decision on them. Um, when needed, probably closer towards the game. You're going to need your full squad now. We're coming a really busy period of the season, something like 19, 20 games before the end of the year. Yeah, I think that's been the case from the beginning of the season. You know, there was a stage where we had Ryan Kent out, we had Jordan Jones out, we had Brandon Barker out with a broken toe. We had three players out in one position. Um, add that to the fact that Jamie Murphy's been missing for a year. You know, on on the left side. Um, it was a time where we were a bit light, so that's been the case throughout, and that's the reason why we tried to build a, a squad with the right volume in, and we've got different selections in different areas, and you know we've got Shea Ojo who can play on the left as well. Um, we'd like to think that we're pretty much covered in in all areas of the team and the squad, if if and when we we suffer some injuries or suspensions. So um, it's been really really nice to be in the position where we haven't got desperate, uh, certainly on that left side. Uh, you're sitting top over the international break. How much of an extra boost of motivation can that give the players going into an important run of fixtures coming up? I think it's always nice to, to, to sit top, of course it is. I think it's um, a reward for the players for how well they've played, um, how consistent they've been uh, and how well they recovered from the from the old firm defeat. So we certainly deserve to be there, but we're under no illusions how tough it's going to be to to, to stay there, I think that's got to be the motivation to try and um, you know stay there as long as we can, uh, keep performing at the level we have been, and um, really embrace uh, the pressure and embrace being top and enjoy it, and um, work as hard as we can to stay there. That's the challenge. Ross Wilson's come in as a sporting director over this uh, last fortnight. Have you had a talk with him about his role and how do you think he can help the club? Yeah, I've had two or three uh, really long in-depth conversations with Ross that will remain private um, I'm pleased that the club have acted quickly uh, to replace Mark Allen because um, there was a void there Mark done a fantastic job and um, the, you know the weeks that he has been missing I've certainly felt a void uh, Mark was a rock for me who I bounced off every single day so I have to give the club credit for acting quickly and uh, finding a replacement and I'm really looking forward to uh, working alongside Ross, um, you know, he's done a fantastic job at Southampton. Uh, it's given me time to obviously find out more about him, how he works, and have some really detailed conversations. So we can't we can't wait to start the relationship, um, you know, and it's only around the corner. So that's fantastic news for the club as well. How do you look at the challenge, uh, Carson Pulis, this weekend? It's always tough. Time clock, time castles are uh, intimidating place to go. The fans always get behind the team. They're really close to the pitch. Uh, I believe Hearts are in a, a false position. If you look at the personnel they've got in the squad, um, if you roll 
the clock back 12 months ago, they were sitting top of the league, eight points ahead of us. So they've certainly got the talent and the players and the management staff to, to move up the league. And um, I think at times they haven't got the results maybe their performances deserve. So it was a real tough test for us. Um, we have to go there and try and find the level of performance that we have done on previous occasions where we've managed to get the win because uh, the two times we've been there, um, we've performed really, really well. Stephen, Rangers have won their last seven against Hearts all since you've been in charge. Why have you been so successful against them? Because we've played well. Um, we've we've gone there and, and found a collective performance where um, everyone stood up to the, the physical challenge and competed with Hearts and earned the right to play and our quality shone through and, and we'll certainly have to do the same at the weekend. Um, Tyne Castle is not a place where you can go and underperform um, individually or collectively or you'll be found out. I think they've, they've turned the corner a bit certainly with their, that, their derby win which I know has given them big confidence and I think Rangers coming is always a scalp as well so uh, I'm sure they're really looking forward to the fixture just like ourselves and um, it's got all the makings to be a fantastic game. Do you think they could perhaps be more up for it? You said they were in a false position. Do you think they could be more up for it because of course it's Rangers today? I wouldn't say so. I think um, I think hearts are no different to everyone else. You want to try and perform well in front of your home fans. Um, I think they'll they'll be frustrated. Of course, they will with where they're looking at the, at the table at the moment. Um, you know, but I'm sure they were looking for that performance, for that lift, and to try and turn the corner. And that came against Hibs. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be wanting to try and build on that uh, by taking points away from Rangers. Um, but I don't think just because it's Rangers they're going to lift the game anymore. Uh, every time I watch Hearts, I don't think you can fault them in terms of effort and desire and commitment. Stephen, can I to ask about the international players? Uh, Rebo scoring again. Barisic playing twice for World Cup finals Croatia and uh, Arfield caps the Canada's their first victory against USA in a number of years. How big a boost have they brought the back this week? Well, today's the first day we'll get them all back in uh, to the session. Today's the first time we'll get the group back as a whole. Um, Scott obviously landed yesterday and he's in a great place, um, he's buzzing around the place, you know, the first time they've beat uh, the USA, I think for over 30 years and he, he, he was the captain, he got an assist in the game, so I'm sure he's going to really spring into the weekend in a good place. Uh, Alfredo again um, gets selected, gets some game time, I'm sure he'll be happy. Aribo scores against Brazil, so it's been a fantastic international break for all our players and for me because they've all come back fit and well and, and they're all ready for the weekend which is great news. Stephen can I just get your thoughts on what happened in Bulgaria uh, during the week and how proud you were of the way the England players dealt with the situation? Yeah I was I was very proud. Um, a couple of friends within the squad who were played with myself I thought they handled themselves ever so well. Um, Harry Kane I thought showed immense leadership and, and Gareth as well. Um, it was disgusting, it was a disgrace. I think I'm only echoing what all the managers have said over the last 24 hours. It wasn't nice to watch. But uh, after the game, I'm, I'm thinking the performance was excellent. I thought they'd done the right thing by staying on and, and winning the game uh, and proving a point that way. Um, but I also thought they handled the, the protocol and, and their responsibilities out there uh, unbelievably well. So as an Englishman and an ex-player, I was ever so proud of yeah. you. You're an ex-captain as well. Is that a difficult decision for Harry Kane to make at that, at that time to stay on? I don't think it's di uh, difficult because you you look to your teammates and you listen to them and um, you stick together and, and you do what's best for, for your teammates. And I think Harry done that uh, ever so well. I've been in the position myself with young Ryan Brewster with Liverpool's under-19s and... I think the important thing at the time is to, is to listen to the players and you know what do they want to do and then you react from there. I appreciate you've got a big game on Sunday, there's a big one after the game at Think Castle finishes. Is this the best thing for Liverpool to be going to Old Trafford? Yes. How do you think it will go? Liverpool win. Why are you so confident? <sighs> You're going to continue to ask me these silly questions? Is it, I mean, the way Liverpool... We'll have played 8-1-8 eight eight, haven't they? Yeah. The front three are in fantastic form. They're not conceding many goals. Um, the European champions. Um, do you want any other reasons why I think Liverpool are going to beat Man United? Happy with that. Thank Did you me. think I was going to say anything different? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, Luke. You know me better than that. Nicola, congratulations on your new contract. How pleasing is it to to sign that extended deal? 
Thank you, yeah, I'm really happy and pleased with that because it shows that I'm on the right way, that I'm working good and that the club trusts in me and have faith in me and and I have quality to be a Rangers player. Is it, was this deal a surprise or was it something that was in the pipeline for a while? It was a surprise. We talked about that maybe one, two months ago when I got us out there on a press conference as well. That was that time. And yeah, as I said, I'm happy because this is really good stuff again for me and really pr another proud day for me and my family. How much do you feel you have improved since joining Rangers? Yeah, a lot. A uh, few levels, definitely. On and off the pitch, become better player, better person, uh, mentally more strong, and obviously as a player, a lot. How much more developing do you feel you can still do? Do you feel there's a lot more to come from you? Yeah, maybe I'm on 60% of my potential. And if I keep working with these people, with this manager and these teammates, definitely in a, in a, in a years coming, I'll be much, much better player. You had a spell um, out of the team last season and then the club signed uh, two new defenders this summer, but were you always confident you would establish, establish yourself as a really important player here at Rangers? Uh, that's, what, that's what I said in this 15, 16 months, I become more mentally strong, you know, some uh, life lessons, you know, and always try to show on the pitch on the training ground that I deserve to play and try to, to talk there, not, not to the media and definitely help me to become a better player. What do you hope to achieve uh, across the length of this new deal? Uh, obviously, we all, we all know what's the, what's the key point with the Rangers. We want to win the league, we want to win a cup play a big role in a Europe, uh, in a Europe but uh, we have to go like game by game uh, and I said the team really good position we have really good atmosphere between the players and I think it's really important if we want to achieve something something special together. You've seen uh, your compatriot Barna playing for Croatia, do you feel you can follow in his footsteps and play for Croatia whilst playing the Rangers? Yeah I definitely have believed in me to be Croatian national team player in the, in the future. Borna is playing really good this season. Uh, you can see his free kicks, everything. He's really confident, and he showed in the two games, uh, especially against Garrett Bale, which is pff, amazing player. He played really good against him, and he proves definitely that he is there with a reason.